Hello and welcome back to some more Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Well, last time we actually learned some information for a change, so let's see if we can keep up that streak today with actually hopefully getting one step closer to solving the mystery. I mean, the last game had 11 chapters, so if that's the case, then that means we're only three episodes away, as in this episode, next episode, and then the episode after that'll be the finale, if it's consistent with the first game. We're, we're nearing the end game, so hopefully we're gonna start to get answers soon. Hopefully. There's a student. I wonder if she knows anything about the strange man. Probably not, given our track record, but we will try anyway. Hello. Huh? Th that, why is everyone just universal default reaction to everything in this universe? Okay, hey. You see this photo? Well, thanks for showing me that. Oh, by the way, Yumi said she's waiting for you in the art room. Are you guys dating? What? Is, what, the, what? What? What is this game's obsession? Why are you focusing on this plot point? I, what do you do? You know, you could be dedicating the time to actually solving the mystery. Instead, you're like, Oh my god, are you two dating? Like, oh my god, just shut the fuck up. I don't care. What are you doing? Uh, I wanted to show you that so you could see, like, hey, you know anything? In, like, okay, you know Yumi? She's helped me out. She learned things from people. Do you know anyone else that might have been involved in that friend group that I can talk to? Because she... Because she just dropped that bombshell on me. He was like, oh, by the way, there's this long-lost friend of Yoko that you can talk to. He was like, thanks, because that would be useful. Do you know anything else? But then instead, she's like, oh, my God. It's like... <laughs> anyway. Do you know anything about the man? Oh, you're talking about the weirdo? He's the worst. He likes to tease female students. That's not cool. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Hey, wait, wait, wait. He, he, te Jimbo, the tennis player, just popped in to say, hey. Not cool, bro. And then he just disappeared? I we okay. Okay. I haven't seen him today, but next time he comes around, you should beat him up. Why the f- that's not what detectives do. Also, I don't think I would have the physical strength to beat him up, even if I tried. Um, like, like obviously, if he tried to do something to you, I would want to help and have want to help to get him off you. But as far as, like, me just diving on him and beating him to a pulp out of the blue, I don't think I have the physical strength to do that. I mean, like, again, if he was trying to, to harm you in any way, I would do whatever I could possibly do to help to help protect you, but Jesus Christ Almighty, you're expecting me to, like, dive on him like some WWE wrestler and kick the shit out of him out of nowhere? You have way too much confidence in my physical strength here, buddy. Okay, um, do you know anything else that might be of assistance to me? Uh, Ayumi's waiting for you. Great, so you've told- or, so you're just useless? Great. L lovely chat. To the art room we go. Why does she always pick the art room to talk? I- mm. I guess this is because where the, the portrait is. Yeah, that's what she's staring at. That is, that's exactly what she's staring at. Oh, by the way, we might be going down a supernatural route here where it turns out Yoko and Shinobu were actually the same. Ooh, please no. Ayumi. There you are. Oh, there you are, Perry. I was waiting for you. W were you able to learn anything from Shinobu's friend? D yes, apparently Yoko visited her. She did? And when she left, she said, Shinobu was still somewhere in y Yushimita High School. What? Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, while we're here, uh, you know anything about her? What did, what did she mean? Who knows? It's a mysterious mystery. Have you learned anything new? You already asked me that. She know about a childhood friend called Uchida. Uchida, that's the name of the subject in the Kaneda case. Oh, really? It's still not clear if the two are connected. I think you can take a reasonable assertion or assumption that they are connected. So I assume you're here to look at uh, the mysterious, creepy photo staring down into our souls. Oh, yeah, I want to see Yoko's mom to ask about this drawing, and then it turns out that Yoko and Shinobu were cousins. Oh! Were they now? Well, isn't that just wonderfully convenient? Cousins with Yoko's mom said she didn't know about the Kaneda incident. She said they became estranged for some reason, so she didn't know that Shinobu was involved in the Kaneda case. I didn't want to pry much further. Well, at least that explains why, so, okay, maybe they don't, they, maybe they don't go, maybe they don't go down the super supernatural route, but at least they're gonna, they, they're at least gonna do the whole, oh, they were related in some way, and therefore that's why they look similar, and that's why they care about each other, okay, cool, fine, that's better than what, what I thought you were gonna do, but there's still room for you to screw this up, there's still room for you to go down the supernatural route, so, um, I won't hold my breath just yet, uh, is it possible that Shinobu tried to ask for help in Yoko's dream? That is a sentence that you just said. Now we know why Yoko and Shinobu look alike. When I saw Yoko in front of the mirror, she looked exactly like this drawing. As if Yoko's soul was possessed by Shinobu. Possessed? I really hope we don't go down this route. This is a slippery slope to go down, friends. Is that even possible, being possessed by someone? I know it sounds ridiculous, but it kind of makes sense. That does it? Think of it this way. If she was possessed, then what Yoko said suddenly makes sense. What do you mean? Maybe Yoko was trying to say that she's the girl who stands behind, meaning she is Shinobu. Excuse me. Oh my god. 
don't, you don't want to do this. Oh, and here comes Mr. Kamada to slide onto the screen again. Oh, I didn't know you two were here. Magic, were you able to talk to Mrs. Katsuragi? Yes, thanks again for the introduction. Actually, Mr. Kamada, I found out that Yoko also visited Mr. Katsuragi. Really? Kajima went to see her? Did you tell Yoko about the drawing? No, never. I would, I would have told you if I did. Okay, well, so long as you're here. Um, we'll just ask him all the same... Uh, just, I'm just so sick of asking the same questions every goddamn time. How did Kojima find out about Mr. Mrs. Karatsuragi? I guess it's as good as mine, buddy. I completely forgot about that was a drawing of Shinobu. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I remember earlier, right? That, yes, exactly. I heard that after the Kaneda incident, a student named Uchida moved out of town. Uchida, the same name as a suspect? Yes, it seems that he was a childhood friend of Shinobu. You're saying there was a student named Uchida here when the incident happened, and he was a friend of Shinobu's? I don't recall any, any male student named Uchida. That's a very specific word choice, but okay. Uh, it's a common name, so it's harder to remember a specific student. What? D don't stare at me like that, it's not helping. Well, okay, so, I I'm, getting, I'm getting a little tired of the whole, oh, well, I don't remember a student like that. How about you just go check the yearbooks that you'd have in the library to check to see if there was a student named, no, does that make too much sense? Okay. That's right, a principal might know something. He remembers every detail about a student, you know, or just check the yearbooks. Check the yearbooks. He's on a business trip. Okay, so go check the yearbooks. Unless you're going to tell me the school doesn't have yearbooks, in which case, uh-huh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll buy that story. The principal should know about a old student named Uchida, but there's nothing you can do until he gets back from- Hi, ah, while well, we check the yearbooks. <laughs> Getting very annoyed by this game. What else can I tell you? I don't know, anything? Literally anything would be useful right now. There's nothing you can do until like Okay, well then what- <laughs> Oh my god, what do you want from me, game? What else can I tell you? I don't- Good question! What can you tell me? Can you tell me anything? How did Kojima find out about Mrs. Katsuragi? I don't... Oh my god, no, no, nothing you're saying is helping. The students keep talking about the rumor. I... <gasps> Do I have to think? Nope. Oh, how wonderful. I examined... Okay. I examined a Yumi, and now I have an option to talk about a Yumi. Because of course I do. That makes sense. <sighs> Tachibana, you seem like you're doing better today. I guess so, thanks for noticing. Trevor, I'm, I'm going to go look for Hitomi. Did something happen to him? I, I just remember he was acting strange today. Stranger than usual? You just... I think he's still around here somewhere, so I'll go check on him. You, what? Okay, so the chain of events here is you see him, you think he's acting strange, you forget... Then you don't do anything about that, you forget about it, and then later you're like, Oh yeah, he acted strange, I'll go do something about it. It's like, but what? Who is Hitomi? He's an asshole. He has a manly face and no eyebrows. Hmm, that doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, well, I'm guessing a lot of things don't ring a bell with you, but it's fine. Whatever. Excuse me for a moment. Back to the front of the school we go. And was that the same student from earlier? The student talked to her earlier. Is she waiting for someone? I don't know, but I guess we're gonna talk to her again. No, don't travel. I wanna talk to her. Um, does she, do, you, do you recognize the name, Uchida? I don't know if, why you would, but just in case. Who is that? Nah, I figured that would happen, but I'll try again just in case. So, is, so the guy's name is Uchida? What? Oh, am I onto something? What the? What? 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 Who wrote this dialogue? Ah, this game is just a constant enigma for all the wrong reasons. Ah, I wonder why he comes around here. I, I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Hey, Mr. Detective, Ayumi's acting kind of weird, huh? Is she? You think so too? I, I've not noticed anything. So you noticed? Wow, you really are a detective. I've not noticed anything. What do you, why? <sighs> okay, I guess we'll ask about Ayumi then. It's something happened at school, I'm worried about Ayumi. She said she feels like someone's watching her recently. Yeah, join the club. She says it's a, probably just her imagination, but she looks pretty concerned to me. Okay. Uh, while we're asking people, can we ask about Hitomi? Hitomi's acting strange, do you have any idea why? He's always acting strange. Good point. Lovely chat. Do I have to ask more about Ayumi? You're worried about Ayumi, aren't you? Well, I am, but... The, what the... Maybe you? Don't be too anxious. Isn't he at the old school building? What? I can't... Can I... Okay, I can, I can leave. Okay. But you seem like you have more information about these people. I'm going home, Mr. Detective. Would you walk with me? What? 
no offense, but I think I have more important things to do with my time than walk random students home. Like, I, my goal here is to be a detective to solve a murder mystery. But it seems like this game wants me to do literally everything that's not that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say nah. Thanks, though. Come on, that's... Ah, no reason serious. I'm jealous of a Yumi. What is she talking about? You better treat her right, Mr. Detective. What is happening? What is... This game wants me to do... It's like it, it's like it is allergic to actually wanting to... What? Sorry. It, it's like allergic to actually wanting to investigate the crime scene. Or investigate the murder mystery. You know, the whole point of this game? No, okay. Whatever. We're nearing the end game, hopefully. Where's Kamada? There he is. Oh, you're back. Mr. Kamada, where were you? I thought I heard someone call me, so I was looking around, but I get- No, no, no. You told me you were going to the men's room. Don't lie to me. What do you- uh, this, Are you not gonna call out the contradiction? Really? Really? No? Nothing. Magic, why don't you try the faculty lounge? Did something happen? I heard this from a student, but it sounds like teachers have begun talking about the girl who stands behind you, as I would assume they would if the rumors are spreading constantly, but it's whatever. Teachers, too? You, is he not going to call the contradiction of him first saying, Hey, I need to go to the men's room, and now he's like, Oh, I, I thought I heard my name. It's just, okay. Okay. You do you, I suppose. You do you, game. Back to the faculty lounge, and it's the same prick from earlier. Hello. Oh, magic, it's you. Yes, it is. Is there anyone else I can talk to that's not you? Like you, perhaps? Please? Are you looking for Miss High Image? She's not available at the moment. <sighs> Do I have to talk to you instead? Great. I love it. She's rushed, she rushed out just as I came back. I guess she had something urgent to attend to. I see. She was in such a hurry, it must have been important. Great. Do I have to talk to you about the other stuff, too? If the principal's on a business trip. I think you won't be back for another couple... So what? Just check the yearbook. No one thinks. He seems so busy recently. Great. Do you, is there a... <laughs> I know I sound so repetitive, but it, like, saying, like, is there anything useful you know? But it's the same thing every time. Every, we've talked, we've spoken to this guy, like, 18 times. All about the same crap over and over again. Just get to the point already. I don't think that's to do with the incident. Do you want to guess? Is it about the principal? Is it about the principal, since that's what we are just talking about? That's right, so you're a detective after all. Yeah, because that question would definitely prove I was a detective or not. About the principal, what could it possibly be? Principal Urabi recently sold his house. Urabi sold his house? I assume there's a good reason, but I wonder what it was. It seems so sudden. Uh-huh. Well, let's see if we can dig into that a little bit more. We are out of stuff to talk about. Dip, no, what, what? no, we're not. You too? Stop talking about the girl's names behind. It's a ridiculous rumor. Of course, my apologies. Oh yeah, my apologies for, investi for talking about a, a rumor that is directly correlated to the case I'm currently investigating, you clawed... Ah, oh, you're so useless. I'm, I'm going. I'm going back to Kamada. Magic, I lied to you. I'm sorry. Uh, what now? What? I about the girl's hands behind. It's true that the teachers are starting to experience something terrifying. So, you made fun of me, and now you're crawling back to me to tell me that it, uh, you actually did. Oh, my God. I'm so over this game. I just want this to be over. As a teacher, I don't want to sound insane, but I, well, it's too late for that one, buddy. A spooky groan. I just thought you should know. Sorry for keeping it from you. It's pathetic, but I'm scared of being alone. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to leave you here anyway. I'm going to lock up and take off. Um, bye. I have I have a murder mystery. Contrary to popular belief, I do actually have a murder mystery to solve. Whether the game wants to acknowledge it or not. Oh, it's you again. Like, look, at we just keep... What was the point of the faculty lounge visit? We just... Let's keep bouncing back and forth all over the place. I went to the faculty lounge to ask some questions. Seems like the teachers are also experiencing strange things. I see. So the rumor's true. Yes. Oh, and did something happen to Miss Hayama today? Hmm? I'm not sure. It's... Okay, but I guess... Now we get to talk to you about the same thing every time. End me. <sighs> I heard that the principal sold his place. I heard that too. And yet you didn't say anything because... You, <sighs> other teachers are saying he needed money. But... But what? He must have a good reason. So, so the other guy said the same thing, but if you don't know what the reason is, then it doesn't matter. Maybe his place was too big for him to live alone, but I wonder, why do it now? Alone? I, 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 I'm, I'm out of things to say. Like, I, I keep trying to think of things to say. I have nothing. Nothing. This is just the same repetitive drivel over and over again. Like, the missing heir didn't do this. 
The missing air was actually a lot more engaging than this. It kept the it kept the action moving at a decent pace without going overboard, without slowing it down too much. But this just does not does it by himself. Okay, so what? That means he's single. What, are you gonna make a big deal out of this? Don't look chalk at the time. You're being dramatic. Okay, I'll tell you what I know about the principal. Finally, we well, might get some useful information. Tadashi lost his wife a long time ago. Tadashi. Tadashi Yurabe, that's his full name. Like I said, if he lives alone, it just means he's single. Or that it, or that if he is in a relationship, it means they haven't moved in together. So what? Big whoop. It, it, it's been over 30 years now. Back then, Tadashi was a regular teacher like me. One day, his wife became pregnant, but she had a heart... Oh. Yikes. That's tough. That's, uh... That's, uh... Rough to hear. Neither she nor the baby made it. Jesus Christ. I think that's what happened. Sorry why the principal cares so much about students. Well, look at that. We got a tiny sliver of character. Who would have thought it? He's a remarkable person. Oh my god. And now we're right back to... Okay, we had a character moment, and now we're back to... He's just such a stand-up, gosh diddly darn great guy. ay yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know anything else? You always try to connect everything to that incident. You, because it's imperative to... The, probably should tell you about the card. No, why do you... Why, why do you Stop dancing around. Just tell me things. No, sure, shouldn't mention the car. You already mentioned. Just oh my god! Tell me what the car is. You insufferable gnome. Just tell me. I just remember telling who had a black car a long time ago. I'm sure it was something to do with that incident. Forget it. Then why bring it? You you must have you must have thought in your head when you remembered it. You must have had a reason to remember it, which means it must be important. So you must have had a reason to bring it up. So you must have a reason to tell me now. You. Mm. Tell me what you know, please. By the way, a man came around looking for you today. Don't don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. I we're just gonna oh, this game. What do you look like? He's a student with glasses. He looks serious. Okay. That's it, I'm taking off. See you next week. What the f Wait, Mr. Commander, what about the black car? Was that a voice being here alone is kinda scary? Oh my good lord almighty, nothing means anything. It's all so worthless. We keep trying to get information, but it doesn't lead us anywhere. What do I have to do with Yumi and Hitomi? I feel like we've had the same conversation with this man three times in a row now, and all of them were equally useless. Oh, hey, Miss Ayama. Oh, hi, Magic. I heard something happened today. Yes, there was a small accident. An accident? What, what was the accident? A student with mine was injured. Who... She hit her head and was taken to the hospital. She needs to be looked at. Okay, what? I, I, mean, I need more information than that. Thankfully, her accident wasn't serious. Dude, what? What? This is what she said happened. She was walking down a staircase when she felt someone behind her. She turned around and there was Mr. Mr. Hermino, and standing behind him was the girl who stands behind. She was so startled she slipped down the stairs. Okay, who was the person who got? Who? Who was the? Do, do I know the student? Mr. Rubino took her to the hospital. And... Maybe we need to take this room more seriously. Did you question him about what you actually saw? No? No? All this is happening while the principal's gone. I need to let him know right away. I... Okay. The, uh, hmm. Hey, Sayama, are you okay? I know the girl's in behind us ever since I saw her. I need you... I need to go. See you later. Okay, bye. People really... Alright, this is getting on my nerves. People really love to drop these bombshells on you and then run the hell away. It's really getting annoying. And I guess it's time to go to the old school building. So, uh... Yeah. Old school building. Is Atoma gonna be here this time? There's no one here. Lovely. But the trash can's knocked over. It's usually up against the wall, so something happened here. Huh? Someone kicked the bin. Who would do that? I see the cigarette Atomi threw away. In addition to some other things. Uh, hold on. I need to look at the trash bin. There was a matchbox thrown away with the cigarettes. Okay. So obviously we're going to take that. This is a matchbox from a bar. What was he doing there? Tell him just in case. Well, he was probably investigating there, so I guess we found our next location to go. Um, but I guess first we'll check the matchbox. These are the matches that Tommy threw away. It says Bar Sambora 007 1234. 
Double, okay, so that's easy enough to remember. It's 007, 1234. That's easy to remember, which I'm sure was designed that way on purpose. Uh, time to think. If Tony was acting strange, is he feeling down because of what happened yesterday? Maybe. Can we... Is he anywhere nearby for us to call him over? Tommy! Oh, of course that worked. And look at that, he has eyebrows again. Wow. Wow! Are you cosplaying? He's wearing glasses and a wig. He even drew eyebrows. I... You can't draw eyebrows that move. That's not how that works. I thought about what you said earlier and decided to try something new. How do I look? You look even worse. Well, it definitely counts as acting strange. It's like Yumi said, anyways. He's a very simple-minded person. Uh, it's an understatement of the century. Okay, please tell me what you learned. People will treat me differently now that I look more intelligent and approachable. I don't think that's how that works. Intelligent, that's what you're going for? You are not giving off that vibe. You, you need more than glasses and a book to look to to, to, uh, to, to exude intelligence, my, my friend. By the way, Yumi said she feels like someone who is always watching her. Do you have any idea who that might be? Don't worry, I'm, I'm a guardian angel, cinema 24-7. Yeah, that's so obviously wrong, because you haven't been by her side at all. Which is fine, because she clearly doesn't need someone to protect her. But if you just... God. I just... I'm just so done. I'm so... I'm so over this. Because in school or doing private matters, I've always got my eye on her. That's... That's... That's a creepy thing to say, my dude. So that explains it. Today was no exception. I followed her all the way home. I... Yeah, yeah, I've been needing to skip class just to make sure she's okay. That's not... You don't... Okay. <laughs> oh, well. This is not... You don't, that's, you. surely a Yumi wouldn't be okay with that. Surely a Yumi would be like, please go to class. I don't need you to watch me 24-7. Please go to class. This doesn't track. Ugh. Okay. Um, well, do you know anything about the man? Seems he didn't come by today. I know he looked intimidating, but if he's friends with the principal, that dude's probably a good guy. That's, the, no, that's, that's, that's the inverse of guilt by association. It's like, oh, well, he's friends with this good person, so he must be, so he must be a good person. That's, that's not, you can't, that, you don't, ah. My intelligence level is criminal. I agree, but for not, not for the same reasons that you would say that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, since you're here, can I show you what's up with the matchbox? Those are matches from this bar some bora that I threw away. But Tommy, do you go to bars? No, I just picked that up, picked up what that dude dropped. Do you mean that man? Bar Sambor is a bar that is the next in the next town over. Well, guess where we're going? Bar Sambora. Oh, so you're going to Bar Sambora? Do you want me to come with you? No! No, I don't want... I don't... Uh, no, I don't want that. Mm -mm, no, you stay here. That's alright, I'm taking off. Okay, I'll wait for you here. Good luck, Magic. Bye! See you later! Bye bye Nice knowing you, buddy! Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't need you. You can stay right there. You can stay right the hell there, buddy. Hello... This place isn't for kids. Go home. Yeah, I, uh, I get that, but I'm a detective on a mission. Like, this is my job, so I kind of have to ask you questions. Um, are you going to know anything about anything? Nope. How about that one? Nope. Okay. How about this one? Still nope. And... You don't know anything. I, yeah, I, I love it when you have to go through all the conversation options, only to realize that they don't know anything. Those are my favorite. One of you guys just- one of the guys you just mentioned comes here. What? You couldn't have stopped me about the one- You couldn't have stopped me at the one that I mentioned? You had to wait- Oh, yeah. I don't gossip about my customers as strangers. Then why bother mentioning it at all? Seems like you know something. I, I won't give up. Okay. Um. Let me guess. Let me guess. Do I need to do I need to bring him with me or else he won't talk because he comes to the bar? Oh my god, I have to bring what the hell? How did this much time pass? And you tell me who are you talking to? Oh, there you are. I can't see clearly with these glasses, especially when it gets dark. And maybe you don't wear them. Why don't you just take them off? Anyway, he has like how to go. I feel like there's bartender knows something, but he won't tell me. Maybe you look too young, Magic. He's not taking you seriously. I need to bring him with me, don't I? I need to bring him with me, don't I? Yep, he needs to... God damn it. Uh, he needs to come with me. Wait, what? You have to do what now? I'll catch you later. You have to... What? You're gonna... What? Uh, are you gonna meet me there? Okay, you're, hopefully he hopefully actually meets me here. You're so persistent. It's almost annoying. Can you see I'm working here? Yeah, so am I, buddy. I'm also working here. It, 
is he not is is, is Satomi not gonna be here I, I need to uh, oh there we go I had to talk to the bartender to get him to show up cool sorry I'm late oops did I interrupt nope you're right on time who the hell is he you don't recognize him is he he, he, he but he was here with the okay first of all I ought to say hello it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, okay. Well, what? Just, can you... Oh, my God. He's so scary. He's, we need to get information out of him. Who the hell is this guy? Grab this weirdo and get the hell out of my bar. Excuse me? No, we don't need him out of here. We need him to... Okay. Uh, I guess we have to look at you. He told me he's still wearing the weird glasses and the wig. Do I have to... Do I have to take off... Do I have to take off his glasses? Seriously? Stop it. It's gonna come off. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I want to take off the glasses. Stop, you're trying to piss me off. No, I'm trying to get you to look like a normal person. And so that you can see again. I know, it came off. Screw you, I really liked it. Hey, magic, outside, now. Hey, you guys, stop fighting in here. If you don't stop, you'll both end up in a hospital. Shut up, don't be... Wait, is that you, Kawhi? Ah, hey, Mr. Kato. I didn't recognize you. Why are you, why are you in that getup? You look totally different, too. You used to shave your hair and brows back then. They seem to have forgotten I'm still here. That's fine. If we get information, I don't care. Let me introduce you. To, let me do. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce him to you, Magic. This is Mr. Kado. He took good care of me when I was in junior high. I didn't know you were a friend of Kawhi. This changes everything. Now you owe me. All right, I'm off. Just listen to what Mr. Kado has to say. It was a pleasure to reconnect, Mr. Kado. Great. Now give me every piece of information that I want, or else I am not going to be happy with you. Give me. Tell me everything you know. Goro Kaneda. He's my customer. Great. Give, is that it? The owner told me... I love having to talk to you multiple times, but the same thing. The owner told me this has been a regular for years. He would come here every day when his business was doing well. After his fortune ran out, though, he rarely showed his face. Anything else? But recently, he's been coming back. He even paid off his tab. He seems to be living large these days. Hmm, interesting. So, anything else you know? There was a reason why he started coming in again. A reason? And what would that reason be? You, you're not gonna... Just, you're just gonna drop that? Okay. <sighs> Does the customer know anything? Hey, please don't bother my customer. Oh, I don't mind. What do you want to know, kid? I want to know if you know anything about what we're talking about. Not that I think it'll get us anywhere, but considering my track record for this game, you may as well give it a shot. He's not a friendly guy. I need more than that. He's a bad drunk. He often mutters about things that don't make sense. You, you mean like everyone else in this game? He was saying something weird the other day, too, wasn't he, Kato? Something weird? Oh, you mean that story? I'm um, gonna need you to tell me what, quote-unquote, that story is. Well, t tell me more about the man and what his story was. Actually, Gore was saying the other day that he knows who killed his father, and that thanks to that person, he can enjoy drinking now. He was completely tra trash, so I didn't take him seriously. Hmm? There, I need more. That's all I know, though. You should get to the rest of the, you should get the rest of the story from Gore himself. He lives in an apartment just right down the street. Uh, watch your back. Here it is wild. Wild, huh? But I have a case to solve. I need to go visit him. We're finally making progress. Thanks so much, Mr. Kato. It took forever, and it took a really esoteric solution, but we're finally making progress. Number is 007-1234. I got it already. Number on the matchbox. That's right. Okay, take care. Oh, boy. All right, let's finally go. Goro Kaneda's apartment. Here we go. Finally, we're actually making progress. So this is where Goro lives. Oh, wait, I don't know his apartment number. I, do I have to check for all of the things? Oh, someone's coming out from the building. Oh, please, oh, please tell me it's some, the exact person we need. Excuse me, could you tell me Mr. Kaneda's apartment number? Yeah, because that would happen. Oh, please tell me he tells me. Huh? Oh. Goro Kaneda, do you know him? Oh, Mr. Kaneda, he lives in that apartment with the... Re really? That just happens? Yeah, the, could you imagine... If you're, okay, let's say you're coming home at night, all right, and you're going to your apartment, and then some random dude walks up to you and says, hey, do you know where this person lives out of the blue for no reason with no explanation? You're just like, oh, yeah, he lives in that apartment right there, you know, you know, he, you, he could be a hitman or, or, or a burglar or anything, and you just gave him a free pass to figure out where his apartment is. Great job, you absolute tool. Oh, that one. Wonderful. I, I see Goro has some really quality neighbors. I must admit. Hold on, how, how old are you? It's past 10 p.m. Uh, okay. It's too late for a child like you to be out. I don't understand kids these days. You whippersnapper, you. Oh, she walked away muttering to herself. Yeah, whatever. She can walk away all she wants. She gave me what I needed through very contrived bullshit, but 
It's fine because now we can go up to Go's apartment and hopefully get some information. Hopefully, we can hope. So that's Go's apartment, huh? Let's get up there and get ourselves some information. Um. Okay, I'm going to assume that's not actually a murder taking place because that would be way too obvious if it was. But, you know, obviously we hurry up there just in case. Um. What? Oh, dear God, someone was actually dying. Okay, then. Well, didn't have that on my bingo card. So, Goro's dead, then? This man, he's the guy you robbed was with. Could it be true? So, he's, he's, oh, and he's on the, what, how did, how did that happen? How did that happen? How the hell did he sneak past you? You went, you, you would have had to go up the same way. How did he, how did, how did that happen? Okay. Sure. Whatever you say. Uh, he has something in his hand. Can I, can I check his hand? Maybe? I shouldn't touch anything, I need to call the police first. I, you, okay. I'm pretty sure we could have just checked his, okay, fine, fine, whatever. Trevor, things are getting really serious. His man is Goro Kaneda. Yeah, I, I figured that one out. Thanks. So Goro was the man visiting Principal Arabe. And now he's now he's the big dead. So that's not ideal. Um Oh, hey, there you are. Time seen you since episode three. Magic, did you see anybody else when you found him? Trevor, from outside I saw two people struggling, and after I get up here, I saw someone outside running away. I don't know how you could have missed each other, but whatever. That might have been the killer. He's probably using emergency stairs. I, okay. Sure. Whatever you say. Uh, I think Goro had something in his hand. He had a fountain pen. We should get it to forensics. Anything else to examine? I guess we can examine the fountain pen. This is obvious, but don't touch the pen with your bare hands. Right. This is such an old pen. Let me guess. We have to examine the initials. Oh, huh? there's a small scratch. I, how about the fact that there's initials there? Does that not catch your eye? Oh, this isn't a scratch. It's someone's... You thought that was... Oh wow! Oh lord! You thought the initials were a scratch? That's what. That's what you thought. That. That you. That I. The, you. I. Wow. Wow! You really thought that. Okay. So this is such an old pen. Great. Anything else? Uh, it's old, but it's not rare. I hope we can get a fingerprint other than Goro's. Trevor, would you would you, would you interview the neighbors? There may be a witness or two. I think I might be the only witness to this because they were inside. Uh, I mean, granted, he did it right in front of the window like an idiot, but still. There are already some onlookers gathering. There was no one here a minute ago, but now all of a sudden everyone's here. Oh, joy. I I can't wait to talk to all of you. There was, a, there was an incident? Yes. I have to talk one by one, don't I? I saw a young lady. You all are giving me equally useless information. I saw a man around the same age as Mr. Canada. I, I'm just gonna I'm going one by one. Is that what we're doing here? I saw an old guy walking around the neighborhood. We're just talking them one by one and gaining equally worthless information. Oh no, there was a murder. Is that all of them? Nope, there's still more. Excuse me. Around 10 p.m., a young man came up to me and asked where Mr. Canada lived. Huh? It was you. Oops, it's the lady from before. I mean, yeah, she has reason. Let's like, see. This is why you don't tell people. So why you don't tell people where the apartment is, because then things like this happen. But, you know. There was an incident. Yeah, I have, oh my god. I really have to, th this is, this is, this is gameplay right here. I'm talking to all the civilians one by one. Just learning absolutely no information. They're all just, they're all just firing off throwaway lines. Wow, that was completely worthless. Awesome. That talked to everyone looks like I did. Great. Can we think now? None of the witnesses have been very helpful. You don't say. Trevor, how are the interviews going? Completely wa a big waste of time. A big fat bowl of nothing. I haven't found any rock solid witnesses, but probably are none. I see. Okay, we'll take it from here. Why don't you Why don't you head home? Okay, I will. I'll let you know if we figure something out. Which you probably won't, because it's a detective story, so we're going to be the ones to solve everything again. But, you know, it, it, it's cute that you think you'll be able to solve it. It was a long day, which means it's time for another solo speculation session. 
So Goro had been visiting the principal. Now he's been killed. According to what I heard at Bar Sambora, uh, Goro seemed to know who killed his father for years ago. And recently he came into some money. What if Goro saw the killer in the black car 15 years ago? And he was blackmailing the killer until he was silenced? Why would Goro wait for 15 years? Did he recently meet him again and remember the incident? And now, to, to cap it off, let's think. If that fountain pen belongs to the killer, their initials should be TU. Let's find out who has TU as their initials. From memory, uh, Tadashi Urabi and Tirohiku Uchida. Uh, they are... Uh, yeah, okay, so here's one. And here's the other. Just as I said. So, this one. Tadashi Urabi's initials are... Yep, there's that. There's another person, yep, that would be Terhiko Uchida. So that would be... Uh, you. Terhiko Uchida's initials are... Yep, as we suspected. But he's already dead, so that leaves us with only one option. Okay, well, um... Can we... Do we have to speculate some more? Do we have to think some more? No, not that. Go... Think, please. Now I know who has to use their initials, but Terhiko Uchida is dead. I don't know the first name of the other Uchida who was a friend of Shinobu's. I don't even know if he was involved in the incident. And the principal's on a business trip. He isn't around. I heard they recently sold his house. Okay, well, him being on a business trip doesn't necessarily mean he wasn't there when it happened, but, uh, you know. Was Detective Utsuki out investigating all night last night, too? I would assume so. Okay, well, let's travel to the front of the school. And continue our investigation. Is that the end of the chapter? No, it's not. We still have more to go. Somehow, this chapter feels like it's been lasting forever. Nobody's around. Okay, well, I guess I'll check around anyway, because I can't do anything else. Nobody's around. Which means it's a good place for me to think, I guess. That's weird, I don't see a single person. And then, like magic, I manifest a person to appear in front of me. What are you shouting about? Mr. Kamada, there's no one at school today. It's a holiday today. Except for you, apparently. Huh, really? You didn't know that I did well, okay. Did you forget it was a holiday too? Is that why you came? Of course not. I usually come here to pay on my days off. But you, you, you what uh, do, do you do you not have do you not have equipment at home you can use to paint? Okay, I guess not. Well let's follow him to the art room, I suppose. I would have assumed that you would have had equipment at home that never mind. Excuse me. Uh hmm, come on, it's not here. I thought he came here to paint though. But oh here. Uh, hello there. Mr. Commander, Gore Kaneda was killed yesterday. Uh, talk about Goro. And my guess is that Goro was blackmailing the murderer, and that's why he got killed. And ask about you. Also, is it... So, because it was a pen, is it possible that whoever did it just found the pen from the principal's desk and then just kept it? I don't know. Why bring it to the principal now? Uh, the principal and Goro knew each other. And I guess I should probably elaborate on that. The principal and Goro doesn't seem like a strange pair. That doesn't. I there's no point talking if you're not going to give me any information. So you think the principal is the? I don't, I don't have any solid evidence. But anything else you want to say about that? We are the only ones here in the school room now, right? Huh? I would think so. Good. Then no one is watching us. Ah, uh, what now? She thought it was the principal, I see. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Mr. Kamada, it can't be. I came in after you so I could lock the door. You're trapped. It's over for you. What? You. Whoa, 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 what? D d so open the door? Mwahahaha! <laughs> Wait, that's impossible. There's no way. No, it's locked. Huh, it's open? What the? What is this game? What is happening? I... Ha 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 ha! Funny funny ha ha! I traumatized you into thinking that you were the... I... You... Did... I... This game... The hits just keep on coming. Okay, number one. I mean, at least they... I, I, the, like, there was a part of me that's like, is this, is this some kind of joke? Because I don't think they'd be that obvious about the reveal. Of, of, of like, about the murderer reveal. I doubt that'd be the case. But then it's like, why? Why would you ever do this? What is the point? What? Yeah, yeah, great idea. Let me traumatize a 17-year-old kid by threatening to kill him. What is the? What the? What is? What is wrong with these? What? I, I, uh. Great. Wasn't that fun? I can't help but you seem so certain the principal's the killer, but there's just no way. 
The principles the killers is ridiculous. You could have just said that. I what is what is happening? Okay, now where to? What was the point of that scene? If we're going back to the office, then what was the point of the scene? Why couldn't you just cut straight to the the phone? The phone is ringing. Huh? I didn't notice we got a new phone. It has a voicemail system. Okay, I mean, I've, I've noticed that there was a voicemail for a while. Hello, it's the Detective Agency. Hey, Magic, it's me. Huh? Hey, tell me what's up. Are you kidding me? You're a detective. Don't be so lazy. I heard from Mr. Kato that the weirdo was killed. This is getting pretty serious. Are you okay? Tell me cares about me. Mm, care is a strong word. Oh, sorry, strong word. I know you space out a lot, so the killer might get you. Ha 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 ha. Funny, funny, ha ha. Anyway, you really need to watch your back. I will, thanks. Don't worry about Sachibana. I've got her back. You focus on not messing anything up, alright? Later. For some reason, I feel all warm and fuzzy. Uh-huh. Sure. Whatever you say. Okay. So, is there voicemails? Hey, Trevor. I got us a new phone with a voicemail system that we can communicate with each other anytime. I'll leave a voicemail if there's anything you need to know. Well done. See you later. Cool. Anything else? Huh? Lights on. I guess it was a call. I was away. Yeah, I, that that call that light's been there for quite a while. Hello, this is Ryoko Katsuragi. I have someone coming over today. Her name is Sayaka Ishibashi, and she went to junior high with Shinobu and Uchida. I suggest you talk to her. Someone who knows Uchida and Shinobu, I should go. Yes, you should. Let's go and see where that takes us. Okay, this game needs to end quickly because this is just getting crazier and crazier by the second. Like, what was that? What was that scene with Kamada, like, pretending to go insane? Who wrote that? Did, did, did they think that was something that would... Oh my god. I can assume it's, it was... I can only assume it was played for laughs, but, like, this isn't something you should play for laughs? I don't... I don't get it, dude. This, like... Because the first game was so awesome. It wasn't, like, perfection, but it was still a solid ride. And I really enjoyed that. But this, just since the beginning of the game, this, the girl who stands behind is just not, it just, it, it doesn't, it, it's not hitting any of the notes that the first game where it was able to excel at. And like, I'm, I wasn't even expecting it to be like as good because I kind of expected like they might have, it, it wouldn't be able to reach the same heights, but I at least expected it to be, you know, a decent mystery, but this isn't even, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. All right, well, that'll be for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next time to catch you all. Sometime soon for some more Femicom Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Goodbye.